Born on March 7, in 1875, Ravel was the first child of Pierre-Joseph Ravel and Marie in the Basque village of Cibourg. Despite a Parisian upbringing, Ravel always felt close to his Basque heritage, close to Spain. Pierre-Joseph Ravel, who was an engineer and amateur pianist, encouraged his son's early musical inclinations, and in 1882, he was sent to his first piano teacher, Henri Guis. So at the age of seven, he began his lessons. As a child, he was easily distracted from his studies and his mother resorted to offering him bribes for each hour of work completed. A tutor's nightmare, he refused to obey musical conventions and took mischievous delight in hunting down similar examples in the works of established masters. He entered the Paris Conservatory and then after winning first prize in the 1891 piano competition, Ravel progressed to Berio's piano class and Passard's harmony class. Although he made reasonable progress and was encouraged by Berio, he failed to win any prizes and was dismissed from his classes, leaving the conservatory in 1895. At this stage, he seems to have decided to devote himself to composition. Returning to the conservatory in 1897, to study composition with Faure and Geralgue. He later described both teachers as crucial influences on his technique and musicianship. Although he produced some substantial works during this period, including the overture Scheherazade and a violin sonata, he won neither the fugue nor the composition prize and was dismissed from the composition class in 1900. He remained with Faure as an auditor until he left the conservatory in 1903. These failures pale in comparison with his five attempts between 1900 and 1905 to win the Prix de Rome in what became known as the first Affaire Ravel. In 1900, he was eliminated from the competition in the preliminary round after submitting a fugue and a choral work. Finally, having reached the age limit, Ravel competed for the last time in 1905, but was eliminated in the first round, having written a fugue containing parallel fifths and ending with a chord containing a major seventh. Despite these obvious musical transgressions, public opinion felt that Ravel had been wronged. Even critics normally hostile to him, in particular Pierre Lalo, and observers such as Romain Rolland, were shocked that a composer who had established himself at the Société Nationale de Musique with such works as Jeu d'eau and the string quartet had been barred from competing in the final round of this prestigious student award. More disturbing was the revelation that all the finalists were students of a jury member. After the scandal had been taken up by the press, Monsieur Dubois resigned as director of the conservatory and was replaced by the reforming and tolerant Faure. Ravel's failure to win the Prix de Rome was indicative of his uneasy relationship with authority. Ravel was unable to conform to the expectations of the conservatory despite his desire to succeed. As for Stravinsky, he met Ravel in 1910 at the time of the first performance of The Firebird in Paris, and they remained close friends despite growing differences in their musical taste and judgments. Their surviving letters to each other have an intimate and jocular tone, which marks Stravinsky as one of the closest and most relaxed of Ravel's musical friends. (laughs) ¶¶ 